Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, you guys like requested that this come out ASAP. This is a video to give you all of the dry skin hacks for having less dry skin and makeup that's going to sit nicely on your skin without all the dry patches. All of this stuff you guys struggle with, you guys have been tweeting me about this and leaving comments on Instagram for a really, really long time. So I'm excited to actually be putting this up for you guys and a huge thank you to Dermalogica for sponsoring this video. Thank you for making this possible. If you guys didn't know, I kind of say this in all of my, like whenever I talk about Dermalogica, but I've been using them since I was like 17 years old. I used to spend all my money on Dermalogica. So it's really amazing and humbling that it's come full circle to where Dermalogica, one of my favorite skincare brands, is sponsoring a video. So thank you to you guys for that as well. Thank you to Dermalogica. Very excited and grateful to be doing this video. Um, and before I go any further, I did wanna let you guys know that um, if you don't like fall into the category of dry skin, then you can still get a lot out of this video. Um, the <laughs> dry skin happens to the best of us, even if we don't actually have dry skin. I have a co I have combo skin, um, but when it gets really wintry outside and cold, or you go to a climate that you're not uh, typically used to, your skin can get really dry and gross and. Especially in that moment, you need to know what's in this video because you're not used to treating dry skin or fixing it, so you're not really sure what to do. This uh, this happened to me when I was actually in Hawaii, which is really random because Hawaii is like supposedly super, you know, humid and whatnot. But um, I think it might have been the uh, ocean water, but I did get like really dry skin and I actually did an Instagram video using uh, the multivitamin um, Dermalogica mask when I was there. It like made my skin so soft and hydrated. Um, and I'll link that in the description box below if you wanna see that. But anyways, uh, the video will be all about um, kind of teaching you guys like my top hacks, tricks, and I'm also going to include a bunch of products um, in each of these categories that are great for dry skin. So whether you have chronic dry skin or like like I said, you kind of just get dry skin because of elements or, you know, humidity change, whatever it might be. I've got you covered in this video. So um, also if I miss anything that you find super helpful for dry skin, I would absolutely love it. And I'm sure everybody else would that's struggling with dry skin if you left it in the comments below. Um, thank you in advance for that. And let's go ahead and get started and learn how to kick dry skin. I forgot to mention also why I have a, a hair mask on my hair. <laughs> As I was like putting together the elements that I wanted to include in this video, I was like, speaking of dry, my hair is very dry. It's like straw right now. No, it doesn't look good. So I decided to do um, a hair mask on it. Currently I've got the, um, what is it? The Amica, the Cure Mask in my hair right now. It's super hydrating and awesome. So wanted to take care of my dry hair too. So first and foremost, uh, eating and drinking. This is first step on this list of how to kick dry skin. So depending on, how, you need to be drinking enough water. So I drink a lot of water. I drink, I use these guys and I fill this, I try and fill this up like four times a day. But the best math to do is take your weight divide it by two and whatever that number is, that's how many ounces in water you should be drinking a day. So if you're way under that, then your body is not getting enough water. Um, so it's not, and if you have dry lips and dry skin, um, this is one of the reasons why. Also a diet high in caffeine and sugar, that's also going to leave you feeling uh, just kind of dehydrated and just not, just not you're, not, you're not giving your body enough moisture. So take that into account, take a look at your diet and like what you're drinking and see if you can make any changes there to help with dry skin. Oh, also like a lot of alcohol will also give you really dry skin. And I had a, there was a phase that I was going through a long time ago where I would have dry patches like all over my face and it ended up um, being a mixture of alcohol and the birth control that I was using. I had like the NuvaRing. So that's an interesting one too. If you're on the NuvaRing and you're getting dry patches, it could be because of that as well. So, Look into that. Secondly, um, exfoliating. Exfoliating is... I can't talk. Exfoliating is, is super important. Um, you wanna do this like one to two times a week unless you're using a daily uh, exfoliant. Um, so if you're, if you're putting on your makeup and like a couple hours later, even an hour later, you're getting dry patches on your face, this is the cause of dead skin sitting on your face. So makeup is catching on all of this dry skin that's built up on your face that's not being removed properly. So if you don't get facials, I highly suggest it. It's 
super awesome. It's I just recently started doing this for myself and I wish I would have done it sooner. Um, a, a few other products that you can use at home that are amazing for this is uh, the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. What I like to do with this is I take my special cleansing gel, that's the one I've been using since I was 16, 17 years old, I pump a couple drops of that into my hand and then I powder the micro exfoliant in, I rub it together. You can do this with water as well. Um, I just like to kill two birds with one stone. And then you exfoliate. I exfoliate the backs of my hands, my neck, my chest, and my face. And I do this for about two minutes. I'll like lightly rub it in. And I have pretty sensitive skin and this is totally fine for my skin. It really doesn't irritate it, but you need to do your best one to two week, two times a week to get rid of that dead skin so that you're not having it sit there and build up and it's like grabbing powder and makeup um, and just looking really patchy. So help your skin out, exfoliate, 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 exfoliate. After I use an exfoliant, I really like to go in with a nice hydrating mask because this is the time where your skin is clean, you've gotten off all of those dead layers of skin, it's ready to receive moisture, moisture, moisture. So one of the ones that I like to use is the multivitamin uh, mask by Dermalogica. This is the one that I used in Hawaii when I was there. Um, you put it on your face and it kinda starts to turn like this yellow color and it just like hydrates the absolute out of your skin. It feels so good. It feels so soft after. So this is a great time to go in with one of your favorite moisturizers. Next up, moisturizer. So by definition, if you have dry skin, your skin is extremely dry and you're going to need to help balance your skin's dryness by using the proper moisturizers for dry skin. So using a thicker cream or a moisturizer that is specifically designed to help hydrate dry skin is gonna be super, super crucial and very important before you even go into your makeup routine. Um, one of the ones that I've been using lately is the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance. This stuff is really crazy. It actually is scientifically proven to penetrate 10 layers of your skin deep. So it's moisturizing 10 layers of your skin, which is absolutely incredible. Um, there's also chlorella, uh, an algae complex uh, that helps rebalance the skin's natural microbiome for healthy looking skin. It's also got hyaluronic acid, which is a um, ingredient or whatever that um, basically helps your skin retain moisture, which is really good for people with dry skin. Um, it's also got echinacea in it and aloe vera that locks it in hydration. I absolutely love echinacea. I take it, um, I ingest it actually in a pill form and it does absolute wonders and so does chlorella. If you just look up some of the research about those things, it's pretty, pretty epic. Um, this one I put on the backs of my hands, my neck, my chest, my face in an upward motion and my skin just feels super, super hydrated after and it just feels like really, I don't know, supple is the word that like comes to mind when I feel my skin after I use this. Another one that I've been, really been loving, like especially before nighttime is the Dermalogica Cocoon. I don't actually even know the right name for it. I don't know the names of anything. I literally just am like, yes, that one. Um, it's the Cocoon one that has the really interesting packaging and it smells really good. It's got essential oils in it as well. Um, just really good for nighttime and the oil help hydrate your skin as well. So before you even put your makeup on, um, you're going to want to make sure you wash your face. You can do a mask if you'd like. Uh, put on your moisturizer of choice. Let that soak in. I would say for like at least 10 minutes, you can feel your skin and kind of see what you think. But I like to like let my serums and my moisturizer soak in for at least 10 minutes so that when I put my makeup on, I'm not just like rubbing it around with the other products that I've slathered on my face, if that makes sense. So after you've done that and you're ready to start putting on your makeup, don't. You need to put a primer on. Um, there are lots of primers out there that are great for dry skin, so see what works best for you. Dermalogica makes this one. This is the Hydra Blur Primer, which I've talked about on my channel before as well. I love this because it actually comes with like a little piece for you to like push the product down. Uh, this one's brand new, but um, I can't find my other one. Like my old one's like in my drawer somewhere, but it looks super banged up, so the new one is what we'll go with. Um, this just blurs out your pores, gives a really nice canvas for you to be able to put your makeup on 
it's also super hydrating. So find a primer that works really well for you. Try this one out. Just a primer that is meant for dry skin. So some oil, some, some primers are actually meant to like absorb oil. Uh, if you have oilier skin, you don't want one of those. So be really picky and choosy with the primer that you're gonna use because this is gonna set the stage for your makeup. Okay, for this next one, I'm gonna be looking down a little bit. I wrote kind of like a long list out of some products that I really like for moisturizing skin. Um, but basically for foundation, you're gonna wanna use a foundation or a BB or CC cream that contains oil. So you're gonna wanna use one that is either a cream or a liquid. You wanna stay away from powder foundations. Um, you, you think that'd be kind of obvious, but some people don't really realize that and that's okay. Uh, we're all here to learn together. Um, so use a liquid foundation or a cream foundation that has some sort of oil in it or is meant for um, drier skin. Uh, and a few of those, also uh, for CC creams and BB creams, Dermalogica has a sheer tint SPF, uh, what is it, SPF 20, um, it's super moisturizing and also IT Cosmetics makes a really nice BB cream and CC cream. Both are really hydrating. Like every time I put those on, I put I wear them when I'm feeling kind of like dry skin, like those first three. And um, it just leaves a really nice glowy finish to your look and it also has skincare inside of it, so it's also helping your skin with anti-aging and all that sort of stuff while it's uh, you know, doing its job as a BB cream or tinted moisturizer. Just because you are using a moisturizing foundation, also I wanna say is don't let that be your moisturizer. Definitely don't skip any of the steps I've talked about so far. These are all crucial to keeping your skin really hydrated and um, voluptuous and like voluminous and like, you know, Looking real good. So some of the ones that I wrote down here are Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. These are all uh, for hydrating skin, um, tor towards uh, geared towards drier skin types. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Foundation. The Milk Sunshine Skin Tint SPF 30. The Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. That is such a long name. <laughs> the Tarte Maracuja uh, Foundation. And Tarte used to have this one foundation that I absolutely used to love. I have talked about it before. It came in like a little pot like this. Um, and I can't even remember what it was called anymore. It was like something gel foundation. That one was really awesome and super hydrating. I absolutely love that. They, they, they claim that it's actually the same formula in this one. Let me show it to you. The Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. So this is another one. I find the uh, moisturizer, or the, um, the other foundation, the formulas are like almost the same. They've even admitted it. So this is also another good one for hydrating your skin. Also just a little random tip I wanted to throw in here. If you uh, have the issue of foundation rubbing off of your skin or any like your nose or any other little parts of your face, what you can do is actually use an eyeshadow primer um, before. So say you put your primer all over your face wherever you need it to be. Instead of putting that on your nose, go ahead and take an eyeshadow primer put it on your nose and dab it out until it dries and that will really help um, the foundation stick to your skin and hopefully you won't have the issue of it coming off of your skin. It's worked really well for me in the past and for other people that I've told about this trick. The water heater is on and it's very loud, <laughs> but the show must continue. So one thing that um, I have struggled with uh, pretty much my whole life is really dry uh, lips. Um, oh my gosh, that's so loud. I'll wait. Two hours later. Dead dry skin can't hang on to moisture and it can't hang on the lip gloss or uh, any other sort of dry nastiness that you're trying to put on your lips. So you really wanna exfoliate your lips um, at least once a week. I always thought this was kind of like BS. I was like, oh, people are just trying to sell this like lip scrub to me and I don't really need it. But it's the same thing as the patchy areas on your face and the patchy skin. Um, if you don't exfoliate that dead skin off, it has nowhere to go. It just sits there and collects like it basically collects on your your lips like all of the pigment of um, lip gloss or you know whatever you're wearing on your lips. So you're gonna wanna uh, exfoliate your lips at least once a week. I would say probably one to two times a week depending on what you're working with. But you can actually make your own uh, lip scrub at home if you prefer. I prefer because then I know exactly what's in it. Um, but I really like to use just a little bit of honey these pants are like itching the back. You know those tags, like when they're super itchy, it's like driving me crazy. Um, you can use a little bit of honey and sugar. The sugar is gonna exfoliate and the honey is going to hydrate at the same time and put moisture back into the lips. You can also um, use a little bit of honey or water and um, a bit of uh, like, a, like an old toothbrush or something. You can lightly scrub at your lips. In addition to that, you're gonna wanna avoid long wear formulas. I know it's sad. I know it stays on a little better sometimes, but the truth is it's just gonna make your lips look 
really dry and not attractive and crusty and they're just gonna end up looking like a crusty butthole or something like it's not going to be a good look i've been there i've had the butthole lips it's it's yeah let's just say no to dry lips and long wear lipstick on the lips so i put together a little list for you guys um that will help with your dry lips. So these are some things that you can wear on your lips uh, with confidence, knowing that it's going to, your lips are gonna stay more hydrated and it's not gonna flake and crust off and crack and just be a gross dry mess, contributing thus to your dry lips. So we've got the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, um, the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick, the Tarte Drench Lip Splash Lipstick. I don't even know if I have any of that, but it looks amazing and it has amazing reviews for dry lips, so I should probably get my hands on some of that. Um, this is Ciate Liquid Velvet Moisturizing Matte Lipstick. So this is kind of like bending the rules a little bit, but it is a matte lipstick that's geared towards um, hydration. So this one is a good one if you do have dry lips. Um, last but not least is the Josie Moran Argan Love Your Lips Hydrating Lipstick. This has argan oil in it, as with a lot of uh, Josie Moran products. So it's gonna seep into your lips and keep them hydrated as much as possible, but help your lips out, do some exfoliating uh, one, one to two times per week, and um, that really should help with the dry lips. Something that I feel like I don't need to say, but I am gonna say it just to in case so when you're after you're done with your foundation you're gonna want to skip powder um, if you have dry skin just just don't give your skin the ammo it needs to just act up on you don't let's not add like powder to already dry skin so leave your uh, foundation and your concealer unset with powder just leave it as it is today I didn't set under my eyes or my face and it's feeling really good if you're like okay wait a second though Kristen I get really oily in my t-zone area anywhere that you get oily bring some um, little rice paper with you dab it off or lightly dust your face in those areas with powder take it with you but don't go crazy and powder your entire face I don't care what you see on Instagram or whatever it's not necessary to push a bunch of dry powder into your face um, I that's not my method even so I don't have dry skin all the time but um, yeah just just powder it where you need it when you need it but don't start off with like powder all over your face you're gonna look like a piece of chalk don't do it one thing that you're gonna want to take with you when you go out during the day if your skin tends to get a little bit dry on you your skin is gonna need a little refresh a little boost so what you're gonna want to do is take a little um, hopefully you can find like a travel size version of a really nice like spray like a really nice nice hydrating spray to kind of refresh and revitalize your makeup and your skin give it a little drink of water just spritz it on throughout the day um, I wrote down a couple of my favorites uh, Dermalogica has the multi-active toner this is uh, also a mist and then also the Dermalogic antioxidant hydra mist I love this one I use this one like every day I use it on makeup before makeup when I'm going to the gym um, it helps protect your protect your skin from like all of the nastiness out in the world and then I also have the touch luminous dewy skin mist um, I don't know if there's a smaller version of that one because it is glass it's kind of heavy so you might want to see if you can get a smaller version of it because it's gonna weigh your purse down um, and then we've also got the herbivore rose hibiscus coconut water coconut is super super hydrating wander beauty glow getter mist and first aid beauty vital greens face mist so all of these are gonna really refresh your makeup and just give it a second life like spritz your whole freaking body like it just feels really good on a hot day okay um also i wanted to mention uh i forgot to work this in over by the exfoliating category but i'll put it in here what you wash your face with is also really important some skincare uh and and cleansing gels will really dry out your skin and just be super nasty I love this special cleansing gel. It's a really, really great high quality formula. I've used it for a very long time. It works really, really well. Um, it does keep my skin hydrated along with all the other stuff I've talked about. But if you really want some intense moisture, there's also the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Cleanser. So you can even start your moisturizing out with your cleanser and just start from there. Give your skin the best chance that it's got to be as hydrated as possible. Whew. That brings us to the end of this video for my dry skin folks. I hope you guys found it super useful. U useful? Useful. Um, go ahead and bookmark this video um, on YouTube if you want to refer back to it in the future in case uh, you forget what we've gone over. As I said, everything will be listed in the description box below that we have talked about so that you don't have to rewatch the whole video if you don't want to. I mean, unless you, if you want to, then please. Um, if you made it this far in the video, why aren't you subscribed to my channel? If you are, thank you so much. Turn on notifications, give this video a thumbs 
up, share it with any of your friends that have dry skin. Um, I hope that it arms you with some knowledge to uh, get rid of your dry skin and help you wear your foundation more confidently and just feel good in the skin that you're in. And as always, um, I invite you in the comments to let me know if I missed any sort of remedy or product that you really love that helps with your dry skin. Please share the knowledge in the comments below. I'd love to um, see it there and I will chat with you guys in the comments. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye foxes.